Hello again, my little mathematicians. Um, we are going to continue learning about finding the area of polygons or sometimes referred to as composite shapes because they are made up of multiple shapes put together. Okay. If you would like to follow along, this is worksheet E12 or page 19 in your packet. Okay. So example one, this is made up of three rectangles, rectangle A, um, rectangle B, and rectangle C. And as always, we always want to make sure that we label each of the rectangles. A is pretty easy. It's four by six. Okay. Um, B, this is 3.5, but how much is this right here? Is it obvious? Hmm, let's see if we can figure that out. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I know that this whole length right here is 3.8. Right, so this is 3.8, which means this is 3.8. Well, from here to here is two, so two plus what is 3.8, and that plus what will give me this remaining piece right here. Okay, so if you just type in 3.8 minus two, okay? you will get 1.8. So that means that this remaining part right here is 1.8. So I'm going to go ahead and label my drawing as 1.8. Okay. And again, if this is 3.8, we know this is also 3.8. So from here to here is two. So two plus what equals 3.8? Just subtract that and you'll find the missing piece. Label your drawing. Okay. Now for C, it's a little bit simpler. This is three and this is 3.8. So they were both given to you. As always, we want to make sure we write our formula beneath each shape. A is a rectangle, so base times height, which was 4 times 6, and that's 24. For B, it is another rectangle, so base times height again, and it's 3.5 times 1.8. Type that into your calculator, and you get 6.3. And C is another rectangle, so base times height, which is 3 times 3.8. Type that into your calculator, and you get 11.4. Make sure you bring your signs down. Okay, of plus, and I'm going to add the area of A, 24, plus the area of B, 6.3, plus the area of C, 11.4. Add all those together, and you get 41.7 meters squared, because each of these was in meters, and if you're finding the area, it's always meters squared. Okay, congratulations, you just found the area of that composite shape. Okay. If at any time, as always, you want to pause it and try to find the area on your own and then just click un or click the pause or play button again, so then that way you can follow along to check yourself. So if you want to try the next example before we do it together, that's fine. Okay, but there's example two. We could do this by taking the two triangles and the rectangle and adding them together. And these little tick marks right here mean that they're the same measurement. So if this is 12 and there's a tick mark here and a tick mark here, then that's also 12. Okay, and then this would be 12 and this would be 12. And you could find those areas and add them together. Okay. Um, however, I think that it's easier to just find the area of what is this shape? A trapezoid. Um, so much easier because it has this side parallel to this side and then these sides aren't parallel to each other. So if you have one pair of parallel sides, then you have a trapezoid. Okay, so yes, you still could do this base times this height, 12 by 12 divided by 2, and this base times this height, 12 by 12 divided by 2, and then this rectangle, which is 32 times 12, and add those three shapes together, but why do that? We can just do it with a trapezoid formula instead. Okay, so this formula for a trapezoid is right there. Base one plus base two times the height divided by two. Okay, the easy part, the height was given to me, that's 12. The one base is 32, that was simple. But to find the other base, again, we said that this tick mark is the same as this tick mark, then we know that this is the same as this. And that means this is 12 and this is 12. 
So this bottom length is 12 plus 12, and then this 32, because if from here to here is 32, here to here is 32 as well. So add those three together, and that will give you the total um, of your other base, which is 56. So now go ahead and plug those numbers in. Okay, your two bases are 32 plus 56 times your height, which we said was 12, and you're going to put that over 2. First things first, always do your parentheses. 56 plus 32 is 88 Okay, times 12 divided by 2. And you could always just type that into your calculator of 88 times 12 and then divide by 2. Or if you want to cross cancel, that's fine. Um, you can only cross cancel once, right? So if I do it into the 12, you also could have done it into the 88 and then done 44 times 12, okay? But we chose for this PowerPoint to do two times, or to divide the two and the 12. So those cross cancel and become one and six, okay? Because two divided by two is one, 12 divided by two is six. Now you have six times 88, okay? Um, over one is 528. So whether you did 88 times 12 divided by two, or you did the two into the 88, which is 44, and did 44 times 12, Regardless of how you chose to do it, you still should have ended with 528 centimeters squared. Okay. Um, our final example. This is one of those where I personally think it's easier if we do the subtraction way. Um, so I'm going to take this large rectangle right here, okay, of six by four. But notice that this wasn't actually part of the shape because see how that's a dotted or dashed line. So this isn't actually part of it. Here's the solid line. It's that weird looking mouth shape. Okay. So I'm going to take the area as if this was the actual shape and then just subtract that upper uh, triangle right there. Okay. So as always, redraw your figures off to the side. Okay. So I have this rectangle minus that little triangle on top. Okay. And then always label your drawings. So the rectangle is four by six. Um, and then my triangle, this is the same as this. So if this is four, so is this, which that's important because the area of a triangle is base times height. So look for that little 90 degree indicator showing that the height is perpendicular to the base. So I need to know this measurement. So that's the same as this. So it has a base of four and it has a height, they told me, of two. So I'm going to label that height of two. Okay. Always write your formulas, base times height for the rectangle, which is four times six, which is 24. And then the formula for a triangle is base times height divided by two. So four times two divided by two. Okay, you could have just multiplied four times two, which is eight and eight divided by two is four. Okay, or you can cross cancel the two into the four. So that'd be two divided by two is one, four divided by two is two, two times two is four. Okay, or what I chose to do is I just canceled out the twos. They both became one, and one times four is four. Regardless of how you chose to do it, you should have gotten area of the triangle to be four. Bring down your sign between them. And again, this is why I strongly suggest that you bring your work down because it's so frustrating when kids have it up here and then halfway, like all once they're all the way done, they accidentally add these two together because they didn't bring their sign down between the figures. Okay, so work down. 24 minus 4 is 20. And it was dealing with meters, so it's meters squared. So congratulations, my little mathematicians. Once again, um, you have mastered another concept of finding the area of composite shapes. So your E12, page 19 in your packet, did look something like this. And now hopefully that you've gone through the video, it should look similar to this. I strongly recommend that you keep going and try E13, which looks like this. Um, and it's page 20 in your packet. Go ahead and pause the video. And then you can check your answers right here after you try E13 and make sure that you get these same answers as well. Because then if you can do these, you can do anything, right? Hey, congratulations, guys. You've mastered yet another standard. So proud.